cook, she got the recipe She got what you need That girl can cook, that black girl magic I gotta have it Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today we're making chili cheese hot dogs my way. So look, go ahead and grab your ingredients and let's get started. Okay guys, so look, we're gonna start off with cooking our hot dogs first. I have my heat too far up. <laughs> but look, you wanna put it over medium heat and I'm using Nathan's Beef Franks. Cook you however many you want, okay? But look, I have scored them on top. Scoring that means I just slit them a little bit so they have a nice appearance and they can get kind of crunchy on some of those little cuts. You see that? You see how it's cooking? Look at that. But look, if you want to boil them, you can. If you want to bake them, you can. If you want to air fry or grill them, you can. I just like to cook mine in the skillet to give it a nice little char, okay? So look, once you get those going, once they're done, just take them out. Um, you might want to cut your heat down. Y'all know olive oil. It don't, it don't do well over high heat. So cut your heat down. Don't burn nothing up and set your smoke detector off like I did. Not paying attention, child. Hey, look, players mess up too. It's all good. But look, you want to add in one chopped onion to your cast iron skillet or whatever pan that you're using. Please, y'all, cut your heat down. <laughs> okay, I had to throw a little butter in there to cool that thing down, girl. But look, I put in one tablespoon of butter. That's going to help to make these onions delicious for this chili. And now I'm going to add in one pound of ground chuck beef, okay? So once you get it in there, just, you know, break that up so we can let that seasoning seep on through, okay? And make sure you just kind of get it going a little bit by mixing it together. And now we're going to go in with our seasoning. So y'all know I'm using the Cajun seasoning. I'm using one tablespoon of that, and you can use salt in its place. I'm also using one teaspoon of dried minced garlic and garlic powder. I'm also using a half teaspoon of black pepper, and that's it for now. So look, you want to mix your beef, make sure that you brown it all the way through. I had to tell y'all every time, this is not a steak, this is ground meat. Make sure you brown it. Don't nobody want no pink hot dog chili. That's not cool, okay? So look, once you get it nice and brown, it shouldn't take long, you're going to add in your seasonings. You see, I did not drain this. I'm actually not draining it this time. But you want to go in with a tablespoon of chili powder. One teaspoon of ground cumin. One teaspoon of the smoked paprika. That's the one with the flavor. <laughs> Do you hear me? All right, and then you want to give that a quick mix. It will definitely turn that beef a little bit darker. It'll make it all nice and pretty, okay? So here I'm going in with one can of Rotel. This is the Chili Fixins Rotel can. You can find it in any grocery store. If you don't want to add the tomatoes in, you definitely don't have to. I'm also going to add in an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. That's going to help give this chili some good body, yada, yada, yada. Okay. And you want to mix that up as well. Now, guess what? You got to season it with a little salt to taste. Just a little bit, you know, it's up to you however much you like and how much of a little you like. That's up to you. But season it with a little bit of salt to taste because remember, we only seasoned the beef. We didn't season our thing as a whole. And you're going to let that simmer for a little bit, okay? Now, I'm also going to add in for some additional flavor a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and some hot sauce from a, for additional flavor because why not? You got to have a little hot sauce in the chili, honey. Y'all hear me? A little hot sauce ain't going to hurt nobody. Okay? So look. Here is the kicker. I'm adding in a teaspoon of 100% cocoa powder. Somebody going to have a heart attack over here in the comment section. But I'm telling y'all, trust me, chocolate develops flavor in chili. Y'all have to trust me. You're not going to taste chocolate chili. I promise. It's not going to be like some chocolate. It's good. If you don't have it, though, you don't have to add it in. But that's our chili. It's done. Let's work on our hot dogs. And we're just going to place the meat into the buns. Now, I saw something on TikTok where folks was cutting slits in the top of the bun. But I was always worried about what would happen to the side, the part that's open. And I was like, I don't know if I feel like trusting that. I don't need my hot dog to fall out the side while I'm trying to bite into it. So, we, I'll catch y'all on the next time. The next go round. But look, <laughs> once you get your buns and your hot dogs assembled, go ahead and pile your chili on top. Look at that rich, dark chili, y'all. So full of flavor y'all come on now but anyway put your chili on there you can put as much or as little as you like and now we're gonna hit it with a little bit of cheese if you like cheese sauce you can use cheese sauce i recommend the rico's if you're not making it yourself that rico is some is some serious okay this is not a paid promotion it's just good but get your cheese on there 
And I'm doing um this, I'm bro broiling this for about three to five minutes. Y'all don't walk away from it. You'll burn your buns and your cheese, and that's not good, okay? But look, that is it. That's it right now. That's it. And if you want to put any other toppings, now's the time. So let's go ahead and plate this up, honey. And there you have it guys, our delicious, quick and easy chili cheese dogs. It took nothing but a few minutes, chair. okay? But look, if y'all try this chili recipe out for your chili cheese dogs, let me know down in the comments. And guess what? As always, I want to thank y'all for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. And don't forget to support us on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And we will see you next time in the next video. Bye!